Okay, folks, I'd like to welcome you to another post-game conversation where you get to hear directly from Tribe Football alums. For this uh, episode, we have Mr. Devontae Deadman. Not quite Dante, Devontae yeah. Deadman. How you doing, Devontae? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. Hey, man, this is a this is a real treat. Uh, all the way from Canada. You're always from Canada. I'm in Maryland. Um, all the way from Canada. This is a real treat, man. I've really enjoyed uh, getting connected with you. Uh, shout out to Michael for connecting us. And uh, I really appreciate all the support that you've given us to date, man. So so how are you? I'm good. I can't complain. Uh, no snow today. So I'm thriving. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring that down here either. Um <laughs> So let's get going. Um, tell everybody uh, what position you played, your major, and the year you graduated. Uh, uh, so 2019, I graduated, uh, major kinesiology, played wide receiver, and was the punt return, kick returner. Uh, I like to say I'm a little athlete, but <laughs> I just stuck <laughs> to receiver. <laughs> okay, okay, 2019, okay. So, um, you know, uh, a lot of folks may or may not know. I know I didn't know when I originally reached out to you. You're you're a Williamsburg native. Tell us about your journey hey. <laughs> to William and Mary, even though it's a short drive. Through and through, man. I believe green and gold. So I ended up playing for the Williamsburg Hornets, a uh, little youth league out there. Uh, met Coach Laycock when I was eight years old. Uh, him, uh, Trey Henderson, and David Corley. They were all like my guys from like William and Mary football camps. Um, what is his name? Archer's quarterback that was at William and Mary. Yeah. Um, he was actually my first camp counselor. Um, wow. So yeah, that was cool. The M and uh, Dante Cook linebacker. Here you go. Yeah, they were. They, uh, they were. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So they were my first camp counselors. I went to camp. Remember, Coach Laycock came to our, our banquet at the end of the year. Like, hey, I'm going to play for you one day. And I remember he laughed. And I was like, hmm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, then later on down the road, started playing pretty well in high school. Went to Warhill High School. Shout out to the Lions. They've been doing pretty well. Um, yeah, I got to high school. Decided I was like, I'm going to play football. I was a basketball player as well. But I knew football was going to be the route for me. Um, got recruited by Coach Corley. Uh, decided to go there after talking to family. My cousin actually went there, met new Adrian Tracy. Like it was a connection, like a family vibe there. So decided to commit there. And yeah, the rest is history, 2014. Yeah. But... <laughs> That's awesome. It's a great history too. So uh, you committed to William & Mary. You, you get there. Tell us about your experience at William & Mary. It was cool. It was a little a shocker at first. Like even though I was right around the corner, um yeah you just got a lot of different people in one place uh and then yeah. you throw on top of that like you're a football player and it's like <laughs> i think it's like binoculars yeah. on you watching everything you do yeah. but no it was cool like a lot of my teammates we relied on each other for like everything you know and that's why like to this day like i just hit up my college roommate the other day my, my freshman year i was like just checking on you man i haven't heard from you a little bit but that's the type of relationship we built. I remember, because you know, you have like your, uh, everybody goes to the spring game that's in that class. So it's like all 20 of you guys are just sitting there talking. I remember that day was like exchanging your phone numbers, Instagrams, everything like that. And it's it's incredible. It's incredible because you know those guys are going to help you get through whatever battles you have going on in the university or or anything in life. Like I know a lot of stuff happened in middle school the five years I was there that like I don't think I could have got through it without my teammates. So yeah, yeah I definitely enjoyed it. And then yeah. yeah, exactly. Like Michael, I remember my official visit to William and Mary, like he helped me out and I wasn't even on campus yet. Like he was like, Bro, like I got you. No matter what you need, like call me, gave me a ride home, like everything. Wow. So wow. he's been my brother since legit day one. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, you played that last game. You hung up those cleats, oh, at least at man. William and Mary. Tell us yeah. about your journey from. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about your journey from you know, uh, you know, uh, William and Mary to where you are now. So after that last game, 
I remember I broke my conference record, so I felt a little, you know, felt good about myself. That's uh, awesome. Train, train really hard that off season, uh, getting prepared for the combine and pro day and stuff like that. Um, thought I did pretty well. Agent thought I had a shot. So we had a little little draft, little party for like just family, like the closest. This is for the group. NFL, right? Yeah, for the NFL. Right. So sure. I'm I'm sitting there with my family, like uncles, cousins, everybody, like just excited, you know, like this moment Absolutely. doesn't really a lot of people don't go through it. So it's like I get drafted, I get drafted. If I don't, I don't. I'm still around the people that I love. But sure. for me in my head, it was draft or bus. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> that was it, you know. <laughs> I remember we getting close to the end of the draft and it was a heavy class that year and I just walk outside. It was like maybe like 20 picks left and I'm just outside. Like, forget it. Like, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. I'm just, I remember sitting on my porch and I'm just praying like what's going to happen. Like, like, obviously like I can't control, I can only control what I can control. So it's like, what's next, you know? So I'm just thinking about all that. And I remember my dad, I didn't even hear him. That was like how locked in I was. He just grabs me from behind and like put, like picks me up like I'm a little kid like under my arms yeah. picks me up turns me around <laughs> and just hugs me and I'm like what's up and he's like just know I'm proud of you no matter what and then Absolutely. like a baby just <laughs> yeah, just runs emotions. down I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. and then I remember crying to him and I was I said dad like what's next I don't know what's next and weeks go by I uh, I'm thinking that I get a call on like a Thursday or Friday night, and it's from the Washington. At that time, they were the Redskins. So I get a call. I'm like, okay, like they're like, we want to bring you in, and I'm like, all right, like I'm excited. Like I it is. ran upstairs, packed my bag, like I'm ready. And then I remember I bought a Redskins hat, and I was like, I've never been a Redskins fan, never been a Commanders <laughs> fan, never in my life. We forgive you for that. We forgive you. Yeah. <laughs> so. I ended up buying that, and maybe I was right. I remember I was riding down the street, right, uh, right near Confusion Corner. I turned that corner right there, going down Paul's uh, by uh College Deli. I get a call from my agent, and he's like, "Hey, they decided to go a different route on a Sunday," and I'm like, "Wait, wait, what? You know, yeah, like yeah. they just with my you know, hat." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, I, rem I remember, man. As soon as I got off the phone, I took the hat and threw it in the bag. Oh, like, oh gosh, like, I was yeah. so upset. And yeah, like two days later, I'm just in the gym working out, just trying to like just stay, stay locked in. And a week later, I get a call I'm with my boy Corey Parker. We had just went out to dinner. We were at his house and we're sitting on the couch, and I get a call from like some six one three area code, and I'm like spam <laughs> uh, decline decline like twice yeah. then i get a call from winston october who was my receiver coach I actually went to richmond and played in the cfl and like we grew really close while he was at waver mary he's like yo answer the phone answer the phone i'm like all right answer the phone he's like yeah we want to bring you in uh we want to see what you got and i'm like who is this? You know, like six one three area code. You know, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so it ended up it ended up being the GM with the Ottawa Red Blacks, Marcel, and like that moment, like sitting there on the couch next to him, like I broke out in a sweat because I was like, "Whoa, like, yeah, what's going on?" And then I remember the end of the phone call. He's like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait." I was like, "What's up?" He's like, "You have a passport?" And I'm like. No, I actually don't. Like, I never had a passport up to that point. <laughs> right. So that was on a Sunday. So that Monday, we had to, it's a whole situation with my agent where it was like, yo, if you want your passport expedited, you have to book a hotel here and make sure you can cancel it and get your money back and all that stuff. So we went, we drove, my dad drove me to D.C. that morning and got my passport expedited that Wednesday, <laughs> that Wednesday caught the flight from Richmond I remember I cried like because I didn't know they told me to pack for two weeks so in my head two weeks I'm a camp body like that's all I was thinking you know yeah. and then I get there that night and I meet a whole bunch of guys that like played in the CAA so I'm like oh these were dogs when I played you know what I mean like I played against you I know you can play play game play the game yeah yeah. So I ended up going to training camp, my first touch 
in the league. I cribbed it, took it a hundred yards on kick return. That's crazy. And yeah, ended up tearing my hamstring the second preseason game. So they, you know, they got they call him the Grim Reaper, walking around. Got your playbook, you got your playbook, <laughs> getting people out the way. And I made it to the last, like the walking into the meeting, man. Like just imagine opening the door and the GM's right there. And I'm just like, Yeah. <laughs> like, Come here. And I'm like, ah, oh man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They ended up sending me home. I started working out with uh, Metro Man uh for like six, seven weeks. And then a returner that they had here actually made a mistake in one game and I had been healthy the week before. So I'm like hitting him up like, Hey, I'm healthy. I'm ready when y'all need me. You ready when y'all need me. Right. I'm like, okay. Okay. So then the following week he made a mistake and it, like cost him the game. And I remember that next morning, 6 AM Sunday, he's like, Hey, we need you on a flight here at uh your flight's going to leave Richmond at 12. I'm like, huh? So oh, yeah. 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 So <laughs> packed my bags again. I said bye to all my friends. I legit spent like 35 minutes with my friends and went out to dinner. Yeah. Well, brunch at that time. <laughs> went out to brunch. Sure. Skated to Richmond and haven't left since. Oh <laughs> wow, since, man. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I'm wow, crazy. wow. Hey, Devontae, man, this has been a pleasure, man. And I appreciate you telling your story, man, especially with the detail that you told it, because it's going to help somebody else. Right. And also, you know, us older alums, even folks older than me, like to hear <laughs> and live vicariously through folks like you. So I really appreciate your time and just looking forward, man, uh, in the future to um, continue to stay connected with you and, and wish you oh, the yeah, best, man. Sure. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you having me. Like I told you, I'm always Absolutely. locked in with everyone. Anyone Absolutely. you post, I'm watching every video. So <laughs> really Thank in. you so much. <laughs>